thanks dr herman okay please open our studio and import ficus file in global environment now today our uh, topic is editing how oh, we edit a script from a website editing a script according to our data set so today topic is how we edit any script according to our data set in our previous classes we have learned how to write script like in ggplot2 core plot and also it's reading and generate code generate in first round of uh, this training we have learned reading writing and code generate now we are moving to our next very important step that is code editing that is script editing so today our topic is script editing although we do practice on different analysis but our main focus Uh, will be on script editing so for script editing mean you have already a script or your friend create a script for any analysis and you want to do similar analysis on your own data set then you can do editing skill so editing is very important for data analysis and uh, our programming so far editing we must need a script we must have a sample script so that uh, we change this script according to our need before editing you must need three things that is reading writing and code generate because when you want to learn any language because r is a language so if you want to learn in any language like uh, if you want to do write a letter in chinese chinese language you need a you first need its reading writing and then you will be able to do its editing if any person have zero experience about chinese language and want to edit a letter he will be unable to edit this letter because he don't know about its reading and writing and its vocabulary so without reading and writing Uh, no person can edit anything 
so editing is very important task but before editing you must know about how to read how to edit or how to generate uh, so op open your uh, google chrome open google chrome and type here visualization of visualization of uh, dendrogram visualization of dendrogram in r and run this now you can find a lot of websites showing dendrogram in R. So just open a website, the uh, first website name STHDA. Beautiful dendrogram visualization in R plus must noun. So click this website. Now uh, you can see here is a script for dendrogram and uh, here is a uh, below different types of dendrogram you can see so here we learn about editing you can get script here for any plot uh, which you want to draw and then you want to edit according to your data set you can see here a lot of types of dendrograms uh, which you want which you need to draw in your research or thesis or article so we just take a script you can see here is a one line script and a wonderful a beautiful dendrogram so we draw this dendrogram one by one you can see a lot of dendrograms or different types of dendrograms are found here in this websites and uh, it is very easy and basic websites for uh, learning uh, editing now you can draw all these plot by using editing skill so now these plots are uh, a, another data set named empty cars so okay and uh, now be uh, ready please for practice first step you must need to uh, uh, need to read these websites and uh, find what it is saying so he give us a script first script for dendrogram just copy the script before copy uh, read these in, in instructions and uh, and copy this code and paste it in R so here we not create any code not generate any code not read any code not edit any code just we copy and paste it in here here we use three skills here we use three skills reading writing and generating so when we combine these skill reading writing and generating
it will give us editing so for editing these three skills are compulsory without reading writing and generating you don't uh, edit any script even any uh, code or any word so first read the script i hope you will be able to read the script but uh, first i read the script here you find a that is hashtag mean heading heading show that load data set here he is saying load data set as we import ficus file already so here in the case of data set is us arrest his file name us arrest but in our case our file name is ficus so we are applying this script on ficus so we don't need this we delete this because we already import data set so we don't need this data set because we are going to apply uh, this script on ficus data set so no next step is compute distance and hierarchical clustering so before drawing any dendrogram any heat map there are two steps first step is compute distance matrix uh, distance and uh, second is the hierarchical clustering so first step is i uh, find a uh, distance dist function it is a basic function used for dist mean distance linkage distance <coughs> so next is a scale scaling is apply when uh, your data set have different scale one scale is centimeter other scale is a uh, kilogram other scale is a uh, millimeter and uh, another scale is a centimeter or meter so there uh, are different scales so when you apply uh, for dendrogram you must need to scale your data set no uh, scale your file name so here is a us arrest but our file name is ficus so we type here ficus method is euclidean you can uh, use here is a single method linkage other methods but use euclidean distance and run the script now you can say an error is occurred and showing that x must be numeric i hope now you will be able what is this error saying please anyone can tell me what is mean by x must be numeric we, we have to we have to let uh, the column of species species that is a character variable so we need all variable in numeric form yes it is a reading you uh, may you are able to read this error that's great uh, no uh, we need to remove column that uh, does not contain a numeric variable so let's check which variable is character or another factor so we need a just only numeric variables so in our case we have a species column that is a character you can say when i uh, move cursor on a species file species variable it showing column 5 character while other column showing numeric with range numeric with range numeric numeric so column 5 is a character so we first need to uh, remove this
so we first need to remove this column so type here square bracket and within square bracket type minus 5 so no run the script no it's working no now the next step is hierarchical clustering so one thing more is that can anyone tell me what is the meaning of this sign less than minus the sign less than minus indicate that we are creating a short code for this whole script complete line like you can also type here another you can type here Abdul Rahman, Habibur Rahman Sherman anyone uh, you want to do type here DD so we are giving this script a small name or small code we are converting it into a code because uh, when we convert it into code we next use just DD not complete script and it also be make an argument or an object and showing in a our global environment <coughs> and so when you uh, know when you run this just only run dd and run the script just dd now you can see a uh, matrix is created so this complete uh, uh, this complete script is converted into a code code word so uh, less than minus sign is used when you give a specific name to your script or want to create an argument argument if i use technical language of r it means you are creating an argument or object but when i explain it uh, in easy or daily life examples this this uh, less than minus mean giving a name giving naming giving name so i give this script a name as dd so we next use dd instead of complete script have you got it what is mean by less than and minus sign uh, mr herman please have you got it Uh, Mr. Herman, are you hearing me? Uh, thanks, Mr. Herman. Uh, now we have completed our first step, that is the distance. Now, for hierarchical clustering, <coughs> we need also clustering, hierarchical clustering table. So, uh, we just uh, apply here is a H cluster function. Here for distance matrix we use function dist and h cluster for hierarchical clustering. Here is an important question from your site, sir. Which package you are using here? That is a question. It is a question. Which package? we are using here we don't install any package we uh, don't install any library we don't do any library so which package is this which package is this No, it's not ggplot. Uh, like, uh, uh, actually, these are the basic packages. Similar to like, for example, if you have a mobile phone, if you buy a new mobile phone, there are a lot of functions which are already 
installed in your mobile by default similarly when you uh, install new window in your laptop a lot of functions are by default in window like uh, uh, browsers uh, a lot of functions are found in which are by default in window so in R when you click just on package click here package and you can see lot of packages are found by default in R these packages are already found in R uh, we don't need to install these packages to work on it so these are the basic functions basic package of R so we don't need to uh, install our uh, uh, library these packages it's clear thank you sir <coughs> okay these are the basic functions so uh, we don't need to install them uh, just uh, uh, write and perform them so we uh, had performed uh, just one step that is uh, distance uh, matrix and now we draw clustering on distance matrix now we use the results of distance matrix now our file is distance matrix we first calculate distance linkage distance and then on linkage distance we apply H cluster hierarchical clustering we will apply H cluster we know uh, we did not need to apply on ficus files no our ficus file is converted into matrix no uh, we perform next step in matrix so uh, first we converted it ficus ficus to dd and no we will convert dd to hc hc mean hierarchical clustering so here is a original script here is a original script and here we use method word method for distance you can see there are different method euclidean distance single linkage complete linkage and uh, manhattan manhattan plots but here you can also see that there are different methods for clustering that is the words method phylogenetic tree and so on and just uh, uh, you type here edge cluster dd mean our distance matrix file here is a method mean we use word method uh, other than word method a lot of methods are found for dendrogram it depend on your purpose of research or uh, your uh, uh, manuscript which methods you want to apply so it uh, is need to define first which method you will be going to apply for this you can find uh, different type of methods uh, name in by using chat gpt or uh, google uh, you just if you just type here uh, different type of methods uh, for H cluster he give you a list of uh, methods which you want to uh, which you uh, apply and check them and uh, explore them and then decide which uh, is required for your research so I run the script from here to here No, it is working and it give us a results but it did not create an argument or new files but when we are using it for a plot we need a argument in files in global environment so we create its argument or simple I am saying uh, we need to create its name so for creating its name just type less than minus less than minus mean we are uh, giving it a new name or a short code to this script so when run, uh, run hc 
it is created in global environment i see so now we are going to <coughs> draw plot uh, come but here is a two uh, codes that is for matrix and that is for h cluster now again come on website check here here is another uh, functions name plot do you just copy this and paste it in or so you edit or rewrite according to your need you just try plot select plot and write here hc now we are draw plot on hierarchical clustering table and run this it's working now you can see a plot is drawn but if you add another things like uh, we can add main main mean headings main equal here he <coughs> you type here uh, clusters dendrogram just copy this or you anyone you give its name of a title and title should be in inverted comma Uh, remove this before if you type any without inverted comma and run this script no you can see our title cluster dendrogram is a lot to this script no you can also do these things but you just type here and uh, we will move here you uh, don't need to change other things now uh, we are going to next step hope you will be done this step please confirm me have you done this step if you done it then we will move to next step uh, thanks uh, dr habibur rahman and farman no uh, next step you can see uh, the dendrogram is not in a proper uh, structure some text is going above some text is going below so it's look uh, not it's looking is pet not good so if you want to publish we don't need this type of dendrogram we need a professional way publication ready plot so just uh, read these instructions and he give us a put the label at the same height use hang minus 1 here is the instruction if you want to uh, heading in same position all headings are in same line same point uh, like this image you can use a functions name hang minus 1 so copy this script and paste it here already have this uh, script like this you just add these point two points hang minus 1 and cx 0 6 what is mean by hang hanging mean that is a uh, this is a hanging and cx mean character expansion here you can adjust text size cex mean character expansion so uh, you can extend uh, here text size so hang minus 1 and text size is 0.6 no we don't need to edit any change in this script because it is according to our script because here is we uh, have created a c cluster 
so here is also a class and uh, we don't need to do any change in this script just run the script it adjusts for a plot all values with in equal height equal distance and uh, justified these all values so now you can check the size increase uh, of text increase or decrease so here is a six you type here is four and check run and check either it's increasing or decreasing you can see the size is decreased no and this is no uh, not visible visible easily so I increase the size uh, 7 and run the script no size is okay or it's again mixing with each other so uh, 6 is the average and uh, by default size that is good for maximum plots so I choose 0 0.6 for this and run it no it's good okay now we are moving to next step that is plot dot dendrogram function <coughs> here in above case we use h cluster function here you can see we used h cluster function now we are using dendrogram functions so there are a lot of way you can draw a dendrogram we use a dendrogram function it is also a basic function we don't need to <coughs> and draw any sorry uh, install any package so far uh, dendrogram functions in order to visualize the results of hierarchical clustering analysis using the function dendrogram plot dot dendrogram we must first convert it as a dendrogram so for format of the functions dendrogram is plot so we need to change this as like this so first we convert h cluster into the dendrogram and plot so in our first case we have <coughs> created hierarchical clustering h cluster uh, we convert h cluster now you can see here uh, we use a function h cluster to convert our uh, distance matrix into h cluster now we convert our distance matrix into dendrogram i think uh, you understand no uh, to convert the convert it into dendrogram we need this script so copy the script and read it carefully and do necessary changes just uh, paste it here so convert h cluster into dendrogram and plot so uh, we need to convert h cluster not uh, dd sorry just cluster h cluster into dendrogram so and here is a script for s dot dendrogram hc and we give its name hc dendrogram hc hierarchical clustering d for dendrogram so i give it a new name and convert hc into dendrogram now run the script we don't need to do any change here <coughs> it is working now no uh, you uh, draw a plot so we don't need to do any change in the script because it is already according to our need so uh, we have created hc a hcd hierarchical clustering dendrogram of our ficus data set and giving same name so we don't need need to change here any word or any name but if you change here name hcd mean here you type uh, uh, cluster, just uh, dendrogram 
if you type here dendrogram then you need to change here hcd to dendrogram so uh, run this script and draw plot so it created a dendrogram type is re rectangular <coughs> and while label mean height so you can say that is while lab is height so if you want to label on x axis you can also label type here x lab x lab equal uh, species species and invert it should be in an inverted comma and run the script now you can see species word is added in plot on x axis so x lab and y lab is used to label their name <coughs> on x axis and y axis now uh, move to next step so uh, if you want to uh, change uh, yes please sir uh, if i want to change the y lab uh, scale then what should i do y lab scale yes yes y uh, lab scale uh, height instead of height you y want to is, instead of height you want to change its scale You want to change height to uh, linkage distance? Linkage distance or any other you want to change here type just type here. I just uh, want to say to make the scale 0, 5, 10, 15, 25 in your uh, It depends depend on your uh, readings when you apply your uh, data it uh, uh, give on the, uh, based on euclidean distance this will define the oh, scale that means, uh, that means i can't change the scale uh, no you can change scale but uh, you will do manually while if you want to change scale uh, for example we want to change scale you just uh, we uh, before it's we have adding scaling scale it's convert r into the similar scale and by default but you want to manually add scale you can get help from chat gpt and uh, desire its uh, your need which want to uh, use here 0 to 5 3 6 yeah uh, 0 1 2 3 4 uh, he will uh, give a range and uh, you can do any change in this It's okay. Okay. If you want to change, you just try this uh, after class. Just uh, uh, change it here. Then when you draw plot and uh, ask Chat GPT, I want to change this scale from uh, 0, uh, 1, 2, 3 instead of 0, 10, 25. I want need 0, 5, 10, 50, 20, 25 and uh, you can do easily now uh, we want to change its again its uh, uh, type here is a uh, triangle and uh, we just draw a rectangle copy this plot triangle plot and paste it here so again a similar script just a uh, few words are edited just like a rectangle here is a rectangle and here is a triangle so run the script now your uh, plot is converted into triangle form like this and now you can see 
here scale is change different 0 5 10 uh, 50 20 and 25 and I think uh, if we zoom out this this one it will also show our full scale uh, 0 5 10 50 20 and 25 now come another if you want to zoom a specific plot but if you have a lot of uh, species and uh, not clear if we want to uh, just zoom out our first dendrogram this one or this one any dendrogram or any cluster or any leaf of this dendrogram uh, you can increase its or zoom out its size so copy the script for zoom zoom in the first dendrogram so we uh, can first or other paste this script no <coughs> <coughs> here is the range <coughs> how many uh, dendrograms you want to increase so x limit 1 to 20 and y limit 1 to 8 so if i increase if i range 1 limit 1 to 2 and 1 to 20 you can change and uh, this limit here is a 1 2 and here is a 1 2 3 4 5 uh, you can increase x limit and y limit so i change y limit 2 and 1 to 1 to 20 now you can say on x limit there are two uh, plots 1 and 2 main plots that is two limits while and because we give it to 1 to 2 and within 1 to 2 there are maximum 1 2 3 4 <coughs> clusters so if give it range 1 to 10 and then select 1 to 8 or 9 then it zoom out 1 to 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay it's not very important but we can do it if we need any zoom out and so if we add want to add node at the end of this plot so use the script we don't need to edit again and again we just uh, know copy and paste and uh, it is no working in our own uh, in our data set so for node uh, you can use list function so label cx mean uh, its label size uh, pch mean pch mean uh, its shapes files nodes shape you can change node shape so i run the script nodes are added now draw its plot now you can see nodes are added in this plot Uh, so uh, all these next steps you will perform and uh, if you feel uh, <coughs> an issue during this step please let me know so uh, I just uh, here is a phylogenetic tree third functions here you need a package app to perform phylogenetic tree you need a function name app so in our previous uh, two uh, type of plots we don't need any package but when we move to uh, advanced level plots uh, we need a package so here we use phylogenetic tree uh, and use package app but if we move other we also need another packages different packages so uh, please read all these websites and 
uh, edit all script all codes according to your data set Uh, nodes mean at uh, uh, point just uh, indicating or its uh, beauty or aesthetic uh, to indicate <coughs> these are the nodes these points indicate just uh, indicating species or just for a beauty or you can add a different colors nodes in for differentiation if you want to differentiate these uh, based on red color you can change their color red uh, for uh, if you uh, differentiate between these four dendrogram, one, two, three, four, you can allot these four dendrogram into four colors. For example, <coughs> I copy the script and uh, paste it in Chat GPT. and tell them tell it please can you change the <coughs> node color different for each group in this dendrogram <coughs> So it will write script. It is also part of uh, editing. Uh, he edit your code. If you don't able to edit manually, you can get help from ChatGPT. It will uh, <coughs> edit your script according to your need. So he is showing that first he explain all things. Here it's showing uh, the standard plot functions for dendrogram in R does not directly support different color for different group in node per parameter. Uh, he's saying we used a plot function and plot function have not ability to allow different color but uh, install instead you use the dend extend package. So uh, if we want to change the its uh, different nodes based on their grouping so we need to change install a package named dend extent so copy this script and paste it here I <coughs> he gave me four here is a four group uh, one two three four five group and he gave me a four name uh, library dend extent error objects uh, sorry it's working no you can see uh, he give <coughs> but he give it's a, a lining change its lining color we need to again explain it's again i want to change uh, a node color then he changed the node color you can see also change its uh, uh, leaf lines colors so it differentiate our plots into different group so it is also part of a code editing so you can use three skills reading writing and generate to edit a code okay now thanks all participants uh, no please remaining uh, plot you uh, complete all these steps one by one one by one and then perform all these plots it's a very easy not difficult and do unnecessary changes by using chat gpt <coughs> and save this script and also send this plot in a group thanks a lot goodbye